Cuba, Argentina, Mexico, with even more. Wow. Um, and the concert today is part of even a larger celebration that the library is doing along with girls, multicultural, inclusion, accessibility, and advisory committee. So they were those who to um, provide refreshments upstairs nice. if you'd like to go and check that out. And they had some crafts for kids today too to celebrate Hispanic heritage. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining us today. And now, if you would, uh, join me in, um, in uh, bringing our wonderful performers in and allow me to introduce. <laughs> traced back to 
the 16th century. <laughs> the next piece you will hear is written in Catalan, which is a Romance language spoken in northern Spain. These two contrasting pieces are wonderful examples of how Spain's music influenced composers in the Americas. As we travel between countries in today's program, you will hear complex rhythms, symbolic poetry about nature and love, and vocal runs on the vowel ah. Keep your ears open and see how many similarities you can find. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the concert.
songs were selected from the 20 popular Spanish songs he arranged in a set for voice and piano. These are traditional Spanish and Catalan folk songs. Um, some of the songs use special dialects to represent the region from which they originate uh, and also the time period. Um, one interesting aspect of these songs, I think, is the piano accompaniment. It has a voice of its own and it sets a beautiful, you know, rich setting for the singer. So I ask that you definitely pay attention to that and the relationship between the voice and the pianist. I think Joaquin was especially um, talented at setting voice and piano. So thank you very much.
composed by Manuel Ponce, a key figure in the Mexican nationalist movement in music during the early 20th century. He incorporated Mexican folk themes, rhythms, and melodies into his compositions, reflecting the rich cultural heritage of Mexico. He was a highly prolific composer, creating a wide range of works, including <laughs> orchestral pieces, chamber music, piano music, and vocal music. Though he is best known for his guitar music, everything he composed had a lasting influence on many composers and musicians, both in Mexico and internationally. He was a significant force in bridging the gap between Mexican folk music and classical composition. These next two pieces, especially Estradita, are his most famous melodies. See if you recognize the tune. Oh. 
the spirit of celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Through its vibrant storytelling and dynamic music, the show offers a window into the rich and diverse culture of the Hispanic community. The song, When You're Home, is a heartfelt musical moment that underscores the importance of persevering, per preserving one's heritage and appreciating the values of traditions passed down through generations. Set in the vibrant Washington Heights neighborhood, the musical celebrates the Hispanic culture's deep-rooted sense of family and the relentless pursuit of dreams. In this song, the characters, the characters express their feelings of joy and nostalgia as they return to their neighborhood, where they can reconnect with their roots, culture, and community. As we honor Hispanic Heritage Month, this award-winning musical serves as a powerful reminder of the enduring contributions and resilience of the Hispanic community, both in the United States and across the world.
find you all day. Now listen to. 